Hey, it's me, Brian. So from this beautiful chandelier yesterday, we're going to walk you into the kitchen and show you some hard work today. We got three windows put into the kitchen. Look at that. And then getting to start to spray foam. I got to stay a little bit later tonight because I got holes up in here where, uh, where did that hole go? Like right there where bats can come in and out. That's not a good thing. So I got to get that sealed up. But just wanted to show you what work was done today. And man, it took everybody energy for me to do this just because I am not a window guy. I just ain't. I struggled. I struggled. It's like doors. Everything's got to be level for the for the windows to work and so forth. But the light that we brought in between this window and, and these four is pretty incredible. You got to remember the old kitchen sink and stuff was here. There's the, the drain yet from the old one. So I'm going to start building the cabinets, everything all by hand. I'm not ordering anything and so forth. I got all the wood here that I'm going to use. Um, there's going to be a, probably an island in the middle here where we're going to put some bar stools in. But I got to get up here first and get the insulation in because Mother Nature's telling us it might be getting cold towards the end of the month. But I just want to show you what a huge day this was to get these windows in. Um, I do got questions, you know, from people going, well, hey, where are you going to put your cabinets? Um, I know I can have lower units here. What I'm thinking about doing is back in that corner where the saw is, we're going to make that a big, huge pantry, and maybe I'll store my dishes in there. Southern light exposure, especially in Wisconsin, is really good in the wintertime. The more light you got, since it's short outside, the better you br better bring it in, is what I say. Man, I almost got myself into a tongue twister there. But anyways, I just want to show you the view, again, of everything. Uh, tomorrow, Todd, the heating guy's coming. The furnace is still sitting in the exact spot as yesterday. And hopefully tomorrow we will try to get some heat going. And I can't show you, lastly, out the window, but there's a 1,000-gallon tank sitting out there of full propane in it right now. So this house is going to have heat in it for the first time since 1862. Now, don't get me wrong. They burned wood, and that created heat in the 1860s. But this is actually going to have its first furnace in. There was never an oil tank. There was never any coal in here. They just burned wood. So... A lot of miracles happening here, uh, just letting people know. But until then, everybody, stay safe, stay blessed. I appreciate appreciate you watching my watching, <laughs> watching my channel. I'm just so exhausted with this project. But everybody, stay blessed, and tomorrow, hopefully, we'll have some more updates. Take care, everybody.